up YouTube? Welcome back to the Gold Guy YouTube channel. In this episode, we're going to be installing some super bright LED headlights in my 2006 Subaru Impreza. I've turbocharged this car and added a front mount intercooler, new exhaust. If you haven't seen those videos, check them out. The link will be in the description. I had a company email me and basically they said they would send me the headlights if I did a review video of them on my car. So that's what I'm doing today. So let's go ahead and open up these headlights. like if you guys bought these. I will have a link to these headlight bulbs and more of NAO's headlights down in the description below. So here we go. LED headlight. All-in-one compact design. 30 watt. Let's go ahead and open them up. Maybe. Oh, there we go. So these are made in China, obviously, but they do include a little instructional manual. It is pretty straightforward though. Let's go ahead and look at these, open them up. So there we go, looks like these are direct plug and play, which is nice. These seem like really good quality. They have a big fan on the back because it has to convert the power from AC to DC to run LED bulbs, as my car stock has incandescent bulbs. But these are much more bright than the stock incandescent bulbs. So yeah, let's just go ahead and install them. So if you guys are thinking about changing the bulbs in your car yourself, it's a great idea to take a look in your owner's manual of your car, because it tells you all of the bulb wattages and numbers. And then it even goes so far as to tell you how to change the bulbs yourself. As you can see in my car, it tells you you have to remove the windshield washer fluid neck. There we go, then you just pop that aside. So yeah guys, definitely check out the owner's manual of your car if you plan to change the headlights, it makes it super easy. As you guys could see, I already changed my low beam bulbs to LED. And now I just have to change my high beam bulb. So the low beam bulb is the one towards the left. If you want to see me change the LED bulbs, then check that out. It's in a different video link in the description. If you click that link, it will take you right to the end of the video where I changed the LED low beam bulbs. Anyway, let's go ahead and swap out these high beam bulbs. So we're all LED. That was super easy. There you go. These bulbs are perfectly fine, but they're just not bright enough. So that's why I'm gonna change these out. And this is the new bulb compared to the old one. It's gonna fit just the same, but the back sticks out a little bit more, but that's okay, because there's a lot of room down there for it. So I've noticed with this specific bulb, which is the HB3, there is a screw here that when right Right out of the box, it's screwed in all the way, but I noticed when trying to install it into the car, the, uh, this plastic piece spins on the actual bulb, and you can't really get it in there lined up just right. But what I've found to be the perfect solution is to just back that screw out just a little bit there, and then, as you can see, this no longer spins. So let's see just how easy it is to put the new one in. Down the hatch. There we go. And it's in there nice and tight. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Should plug in directly to the stock connector. Perfect. And that's pretty much it. Let's do the same thing to the other side, turn it on and see how it works. And with this side, we have to remove the power steering fluid reservoir, which is very easy on my car. You just push that tab in, 
pull it up. You don't have to remove the hoses, just the reservoir. Just move it over just a little bit. Actually, it might be easier to remove the bulb and then remove the wire. There we go. Pop in the super new bright LED light here. Hmm. The wiring harness on this side is actually different than it was on the other side. So far, that's the only thing that I've noticed that is not good about this product. Sorry, NAO, but you made a little bit of a mistake there. Uh, it doesn't really fit that well. After looking, I noticed both of these bulbs have the same number, C6S9005, C6S9005. But, as you guys can see, the connectors are different. Not sure if I'm going to be able to get this to work. Um, the pins on this one fit and on this one they're too narrow. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Let there be light. As you guys can see, I finally got the passenger side bulb to fit. After I realized the connectors were different, I emailed the company and asked them what's up, and then really they didn't understand. They didn't speak English too well, but they didn't know what the problem was. I think it was just a manufacturing problem. I think they just soldered on the wrong connector. But anyways, I kind of just bended the tabs out a little bit, cut off those little side plastic pieces on the connector, and just jammed it together, and it works. So there you go, super bright LED lights, not sure if they're legal, but uh, they work really well after I made them fit. So thank you NAO for sending me these bulbs, hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, please subscribe for more weekly videos, comment, and like, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. so faster.